In our final video regarding pH indicators, we're going to address one of their main limitations, or rather, the limitation of only using a single pH indicator in order to determine the pH of an unknown solution. So in the previous video, we learned about the importance of an indicator's transition point, that being the specific pH where an indicator begins to change color, and we also learned how a transition point occurs because the concentration of the acid form of the indicator eventually is going to become equal to the concentration of the base form of the indicator, meaning that neither color of either form of the indicator dominates over the other and therefore we get a mixture of the two. Now because of the relationship of pKa being equal to pH at the transition point that allows us to specifically identify the pH of a solution provided that the indicator is at the transition point. However, if this is not true, if we have a situation where we have more of the acid form or more of the base form, we will have no idea what the pH is beyond the fact that it is greater than or less than the pH at the transition point. Let's talk about a practical example. So this piece of litmus paper here is actually using a pH indicator that has the same name as litmus paper. So this indicator is what we call litmus and we use litmus paper in order to tell whether the pH is greater than 7 or less than 7. So if the pH is less than 7, that means that we're dealing with an acidic solution and if the pH is greater than 7, that means that we're dealing with a basic solution. But once again, how much less than 7 or how much greater than 7, we cannot use litmus paper to tell. We can only tell whether the solution is acidic or whether it is basic. So how can we use indicators in order to be able to tell us what the specific pH of a solution is? Well, one possibility is that we try a whole bunch of indicators until we find one that has a transition point that matches the pH of the solution that we're testing. And that kind of leads us to what the overwhelming majority of solutions use. That being a special indicator, or rather indicators, that we call universal indicator. Now I'm going to put indicator in quotes because putting universal indicator and then leaving the singular is a little bit misleading. So the way that universal indicator works, as we can see with this range of different colors here, a universal indicator is an indicator that actually changes color multiple times over a wide range of pHs. Now the reason why indicator is in quotes and why I drew attention to the fact that it's singular here is that we accomplish this by simply using multiple pH indicators and because each indicator within this mixture has a different transition point, the color changes will occur over a wide variety of pHs. So in particular, universal indicator is actually a mixture of four different indicators that change color and mix together in order to form the most uh, predominant colors of the visible light spectrum. So we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, uh, deep blue, which some people consider indigo and violet all the way on the far right here. So the idea is because each of the indicators that are mixed together in a universal indicator solution have a different transition point, that means that while one indicator might change color in a very strongly acidic solution, the rest of the indicators are completely unaffected. However, as we increase pH, the increase in pH is going to cause different colors of indicator to change, therefore indicating a more specific pH due to the presence of multiple indicators being present. Now, when universal indicator is mixed together and actually put onto pH paper like this, we can actually end up with universal indicator paper that can give us a relatively good idea of what the specific pH of a solution is 
all based upon the fact that we have more than one indicator with multiple transition points. In the next video or next series of videos, we're going to be taking a look at the other major application of acid-base equilibria, that being pH buffers.